Yo, what's good? Good morning, Team DVE. Plug Gang, aka Flood Gang. Salute to Paul Jones. Salute to Plug Gang. Salute to Willie Bean. My name Paul Jones. Got some more treats coming for y'all. So make sure y'all enjoy that video short as well. The video film coming. But in the meantime, in between time, let me get back to it. Let's get where we at, dog. You say good morning. One Pride Nation. How y'all doing? Another crazy weekend. It's poor. I don't say crazy weekend. I say typical weekend. Let me say, uh, first and foremost, you know, shout out to Bad Beast Boy, shout out to my bro, see your video last night, <laughs> and, uh, uh, before I say, uh, well, before I, uh, reply or respond to that, I'ma just say, uh, I know, it's not exactly the popular thing to do at the moment, whatever, but look, man, I don't give a fuck about all that, we just talking about, we just being objective here. I'm going to say shout out to DGM, who, again, had the realest video out. I'm not saying that because I agree with it. It just makes sense. You know, no disrespect. I'm not saying nobody else is, but I've always, I felt a lot of this as well. You know, it's like I said, you know, he's been saying a lot of this shit I've been trying to say as far as Matt Patricia go. And the answer man beats Morris, you know, as far as. You know, I should have him under the hot seat as well. I don't really feel that way. I see it differently. That's all that is, you know. I understand we all look at shit differently. We feel differently. I don't feel Patricia should be under the hot seat. I'm sorry, you know. And the reason why I feel he shouldn't be under the hot seat is this. Once again, I'm going to reiterate what somebody else said. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how could you blame a, I mean, how could you really put it on somebody they second year when your team has had a history of this? This man didn't start losing until he got here. That's the benefit of the doubt he gets from me, and I've always looked at it like that, period. This year is, is proof, if you ask me. I mean, it's pretty much been put out there. The defense is slightly, they've been improving. They've been playing. They've been playing somewhat to help us. The offense didn't win. You know what I'm saying? The offense for whatever. Well, we know. We know a part of it, but still. And let me get this out there. You know, I don't take back no respect I got for the guy, David Blau. You were fucking awful last night. Let's just get that out the fucking way. You were terrible. Get your shit together, young man. That's all it is to it. And as far as the O line, as far as the no line go, y'all, y'all, y'all always been some pussies. I've been put that out there, so that don't surprise me one fucking bit. <laughs> At the same time, though, you know, in the Vikings, they didn't really do too much. Not really. Not how they could have did us. They played the whole damn game like management, you know. <laughs> well, no, I can't say that. I will credit the defense. Considering all the injuries, all the people we've been missing, whatever, and yet these games somewhat, even yesterday, yesterday was bad, but it wasn't exactly a massacre. And it is what it is, man. I've been saying it. I get, some of y'all just don't like Matt Patricia. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And as far as y'all, I keep on bringing up the call well and the winning. And y'all can do that. It's cool. Y'all can do that. I don't need to argue or debunk anything. You know why? Because I can always smile from ear to ear knowing he won't be back regardless what y'all say. <laughs> he ain't coming back, so cool. I hang my hat on that. And y'all do realize, you know, Matty P, y'all can say, oh, yeah, I mean, it's cool. We all the time to feel how we want to feel. He's not going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere, y'all. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be honest, I look for us to start making some type of development next year. 
And once again, I agree. Yeah, anybody that's still here from that Caldwell tree, we gotta get them out of here. Just get rid of them, period. Clean slate. Why the fuck not? You should have blew this shit up when Matty P got here anyway. Maybe right now, maybe we six and seven. Instead of our record right now that I don't even want to say. Because it's that bad. Pathetic. It is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? See, one thing... One concept with the line has always been. The stars just never align. <laughs> what I mean when I say that, the stars being the defense and the offense, they just never align. We can't never have both, regardless. It's always something. Now you got the defense who've been playing well enough. You know what I'm saying? And the offense has not been able to generate. It's just uneven, it's just uneven kill all the way around. If y'all look, y'all look at my video after the Packers game. I mean, yeah, I, of course, the ref screwed us, which I acknowledge in the video. But as usual, the offense play was the culprit for not scoring points when they should have taken advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? You could have scored points. You didn't. You didn't execute. Now I ain't saying we should have got screwed because of that, but this is what happens when you don't put your when you don't put your foot on people's throat. Again, it's no reason why we shouldn't have went up 21 to nothing on them. They could not fuck with us at the beginning of that game. Because if the Lions would have did that, it wouldn't have mattered what Aaron Rodgers did at the end. None of that shit would have mattered. And mind y'all, the Packers only scored 23 points, which was pointed out. Just saying. You know, the Bears game, 21-13. Bears game, Thanksgiving, 24-20. This offense just goes to shit at times. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand how y'all be beating y'all chest about the offense. I told y'all after the Cardinals game, but the Cardinals game, I didn't put that completely on the offense. I ain't put that on the offense at all. That was the defense in my book, you know. We all know what happened in that game, but I told y'all, that game right there, that just gave, it gave me an indication of the goddamn season. And I wish I was wrong. I really did. I would not mind to eat no crow in this case. But I just saw it. You couldn't win that game. That's why it just kills me. It annoys me when all you crackheads and zombies be talking about Stafford. Motherfucker, Stafford had y'all up 18 points in the fourth quarter. And y'all couldn't even hold on. That's not on Stafford. I'm sorry. It's not. <laughs> I just threw that out as an example. Talking about what are you doing now? He ain't doing shit now. He injured, you idiot. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Damn. I used to be proud of this fan base once upon a time, dude. Lately, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, a lot of y'all is like the walking dead, man. I'm going to just say that. And I'm another thing. Let me shout out DGM. For not using the R word and not really, uh, <laughs> not really, not blasting people like he normally do. Now, like the last couple videos I've been seeing, if it's go, you gonna do like that, hey, bro, have at it. Let's have some fun this summer. I'm trying to get better my damn self. You know what I'm saying? This ain't about me kissing no ass or sucking up nothing like that. Y'all know if y'all know me at the end of the day, I'm. I don't even need to say it, bro. I'm genuine. Period. I have always been like this. Most likely, I'm always be like this. <laughs> At the same time, though, I've always been objective, I feel. Just like I'm being objective now. Period. So that's just me. I'm all, I'm going to try to keep it a, try to keep it a buck, as always, you know. Be objective on things. And let's be honest, as far as the picks... The only game I was wrong about was the San Diego game, if we're going to be honest. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. So, yeah. So, shout out to my bro, man, Beast Morris. Shout out to DGM. Salute to the mob. Shout out to Pride Tide B. You know, shout out to the DSA, Sports Movement, Gridiron Blitz, Trox, Micro Mizzle. 
Micro Mizzy. <laughs> yeah, more than likely we probably not gonna win a game. Oh boy, maybe our little top three pick will come true. But I'm gonna say this, cause I do got receipts for all of y'all that was rooting and wanted that. Should that happen, this shit better work. And I'm talking next year, cause I'm gonna pull up on each and every one of you. I promise you that. But shout out to her team, DVE. What up, CA3? Shout out to my homie, Chris Wink. What it do, Abdul? What's cool, bro? What's good, bro? Shout out to Intelligent Cycle. Shout out to T-Bull, Darius. Phone Jones. Positive Energy. Shout out to my man, Mark Lazy. Double R. Jersey Niner. The whole sports movement. Shout out to Detroit Sports World. Shout out to Dosa Dion. Salute to everybody, man. Shout out to the real BRC. This your man Mondo.